Hi girls, it's Wednesday and my hair is being particularly Granger today. I think that's the best way to put it. Heather, um, enjoy Cuba. That's going to be awesome. I expect footage from that if you can. Also, you said that you had elections in Canada. You know, we should go vote together sometime. There are stupid kids running down my block screaming. I'm trying to film. Don't you know who I am? I never wear makeup. My cheeks are just naturally red. Like, they just get that way. I don't know. And um, my eyelashes are super duper long. So I really just don't need to. I don't see the point. I mean, like, sure, I'll wear makeup for, like, performances and stuff because you need stage makeup and, like, I'll wear a little eyeliner if it's a holiday or something. You know, fancy stuff like that. But on a normal day, I just don't wear it. It's annoying and it feels like it's caked on my face even if it's just a little. So I never wear makeup. The fan video of Ron and Hermione was adorable, and as much as I love Harry Potter fan videos, I just love Kurt and Blaine fan videos so much more. They're so cute. Oh my god. Ah, they make me cry so much. I'm sorry you were expecting an airport vlog. The problem with not doing an airport vlog is because I got there like 40 minutes before my flight was boarding, I literally got to the airport got through security, checked my bags, and then got to the gate, and then sat down, waited 10 minutes, and they were boarding. So I couldn't do this without doing it in one take and it being really bad. So, sorry. Also, I didn't know you were a vegan. That's really awesome of you. That's really awesome. I could never do that. I'm sorry, but I need my meat. Um, I just, oh, it's so damn good. I'm actually having cheeseburgers tonight for dinner. So, there you go. There's this one restaurant, a vegan restaurant called The V-Spot on 5th Avenue in Park Slope. And I looked on the menu and some of it is like grass. I don't know. Heather, do you eat grass as a vegan? <laughs> I would assume not, but I mean like, I don't know. But there was like grass and dirt on the menu. And it was like green smoothie. The ingredients were like, Sticks, grass, strawberries, I don't know, it was weird. <laughs> but not going there anytime soon. Yes, I met Darren Chris on Friday. It was amazing. If you want to see a nine minute video on my main channel, it's there. But it actually includes no interaction with me and Darren because those security guards were really mean and wouldn't let me film anything. I was going to get him to say, hey girls, it's Wednesday or Monday or something for a video but I was afraid they were gonna chop my head off and I'm gonna post a link to a daily booth photo of me holding the signed copy of the CD and it has the full story in the description. I am dapper approved. Okay I know I'm Jewish but Easter means one thing for me and that is Cadbury cream eggs. Cadbury cream eggs are the best candies ever and you can't find them like anywhere unless it's Easter so I stock up and they're so damn good. Okay, on to Chelsea's punishment. Someone suggested that she read a chapter of the current book that she's reading in public. I think that'd be really cool. It, I think it wouldn't have to be a full chapter. That can take a long time, but just a segment of a book, maybe like a monologue or something. <laughs> I think that'd be cool. Also, Elizy Books, who is, has an awesome channel. Oh my God, why do you watch my videos? That's, that's weird. You're so cool and I'm like not. But she suggested a blenderized Happy Meal, so I'm good with either of those. I'm leaving it up to Heather. I don't like punishing people. It's not fun. Ah. Okay, things that have happened in the last three hours for me. Darren Chris has a girlfriend. <laughs> Definitely Hell's Part 2 trailer was released. Not watching it. No, no, I'm not doing that because it's just going to be all the spoilers. And I heard that the Bellatrix death scene was in the trailer, and I heard that all of the final battle was basically in the trailer. Nope, not watching it. Nope, refuse to. I need to watch it so bad. I just need Harry Potter in my life right now. Seriously. I finished Sweet Scarlet. That book was awesome. I need to get Scarlet Fever like right now. Like, oh my god, that book was so, so adorable. And I, I'm in love with Spencer. Is that weird? Is that weird? I just need a tall, weedy actor from New York to love me. Oh, look, Darren Chris. Oh, wait, he's taken.
Oh my god, the character Spencer just seems so hot to me. And I'm on to another Maureen Johnson book, actually. I'm not reading Order of the Phoenix right now because it's so big. And because I have to go to school, I have to lug it around with me. So I'm thinking I'll take my British edition of it, which is just like this big and not that thick because the print is smaller. So I'm thinking I'll just do that. But right now I am reading um, The Last Little Blue Envelope, which I've been waiting for four months now. I remember my first video, I mentioned this, that I was so excited about this. And I, oh my God, ah, it's the last one. And I'm up to like page 40 and already I'm pissed off at some of the characters. I love Warren Johnson so much. And you should read it, seriously, because Maureen Johnson is a fantastic person. And I was supposed to go to a book signing today with her in Brooklyn, but she canceled it because she's off to England again. Ah, if you're not following Maureen on Twitter, you need to right now because everything she tweets is amazing. If you want to see that video about Darren, it's on my main channel. If you want to hear the full story about meeting Darren, it's on my daily booth. I'll post the link to the picture in the doobly-doo. Um, also... I'm blogging all about it on Tumblr. You should go follow both of my Tumblrs because fun times happen over there. Um, yeah, I'm going to go. Heather, I will see you on Friday, maybe, because you're going to Cuba tomorrow. Okay, if I don't see you on Friday, Chelsea, I will see you on Monday. Bye!